Hi my dear fitness friends, today we have a lower body lift. So what that means is we'll be doing hip thrusts, lunges, squats, um, it's a little bit of plyo, we have some Tabata pairs like step ups, and then at the end of the workout we will be doing a 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on, no rest, physio ball core party, okay? so. I will be using my barbell, my dumbbells, my kettlebell, my sandbag, um, and my ball. And also my ply box set at 16 inches, that's what I put my back against for the hip thrusts. And also a resistance band to use during those hip thrusts. I have a four minute warm up for you. So go ahead and push pause and get your equipment ready and then join me on the mat for this four minute activating warm up and then we will get right into our hip thrust pyramid. I will see you there. All right, guys, I'm ready to hit start on this Tabata pair warm-up. We have three switch lunges, and then you reach down for a nice hamstring stretch. I'm going to pause there for like two to three seconds before I get up and do three more switch lunges. Um, and then we're pairing that with a pike glute raise to a knee tuck. So you have a 10-second countdown starting right now. Three switch lunges. If you don't like to hop to warm-up, just do three reverse lunges, okay? No big deal. One two, three, reach down, get a nice stretch for about three seconds. Come on back up, get three more. Straighten that leg as much as you can, but don't force it. My hamstrings are always so tight. This is just your warm up. You're gonna get your blood flowing, you're gonna get your mind set. Pike position, get a glute raise. Get a knee tuck, but do not hit that knee to your nose, please. That hurts. Back up for that pike glute raise, switch legs. Nice job. You already did the hardest part of the workout by coming here and hitting play. You've already committed the time to yourself to get sweaty, to get stronger. Three switch lunges. So now that you're here, let your mind get focused on the movement, mind and body connected. Just feel good about what you're doing. Hike, glute raises. Go ahead and allow yourself to feel proud that you chose to give yourself this time. You invested your time and your health. And everything you do after this, you're going to do better. These are some of the things I like to say to myself in my mind. Three switch lunges. things to yourself. You hook all those positives, all those rewards to the fact that you're working out. And it'll make you want to do it again and again. High glute raises. All the way up. All the way in for that knee tuck. Start to breathe. <clears throat> this workout is going to be fast, efficient, effective. You're going to leave feeling stronger. Hamstring stretch. <clears throat> body does not feel warmed up and ready to do some heavy hip thrusts, you can go ahead and push pause and get other warm-up in that you need. Check in with your body. Take what you need today. You deserve it. I'm 
right. Starting right into our hip thrust pyramid. This is the only time we're doing hip thrust today. We're only pyramiding down from 10 to one. We've done this once before and we're doing it again. 30 seconds of adductors in between each round of that pyramid. So get your resistance band on, get yourself set underneath the bar. I have my bar at 135 today. And we are gonna go, bring it right into it. Let me just put my 30 second timer here. Okay. Putting your band on. Get comfortable in your position underneath the bar. Get those glutes ready to work. You've got 10 reps hip thrust. Standard full range thrust. Make sure your back is against a sturdy elevation, that you're nice and straight. Hip thrusts are high maintenance, but they're very worth it. Here we go. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Starting the timer for the 30 seconds. You have 10 seconds till it beats. You won't have 10 seconds in between every round. 30 seconds of abductors starting right now. One. Get it going. You start to get really, really fiery as we get in the lower rep rounds. <laughs> Look forward to it. That burn, that challenge. It's just a movement and you can do it. Okay, can you pause? We got nine hip thrusts. Roll that weight back into place. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the way down. Please timer again. 30 more seconds of abductors. Starting in two, one. Use this time to regulate your breathing. You got it. Just sit in it. Sit in that fiery abduction of burn. Try to straighten out my plyo box here. I always keep my foam roller back behind my plyo box so it's not against the wall. <laughs> so it's kind of crooked right now. That's okay. We've got eight thrusts. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Bring it down. You got two seconds until we start our 30 seconds of abductions. Starting before you're ready. Repeating and doing things over and over again to be stronger, to get better at them, to make improvements in your mind and in your muscles. Breathe it out. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job. Roll that weight back over here onto seven hip thrusts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Bring it down, roll it off. Starting again in four. Yes, you can. Don't doubt it. Be about it. I don't remember what 
TV show it was in. So Justin and I, we were watching it. I can't even remember, but the dad in the show said, quit bragging about it and do it. And the kid was saying what he was going to do. We say it all the time. <laughs> quit bragging about it and do it. Two, one. I'll do my best to talk us through these guys. I know it's starting to burn. It's starting to burn me too. But we're getting there. We're on down to six reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the way down. We got seven seconds before your abductions. Three, two, one. Think about those muscles contracting and squeezing with each press out. Think of how much work they do for you throughout the day. Allow them to perform for you right now. They're on a performance level. Just be a good audience and watch it get work done. You already know what's coming. You've got five thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. 30 more seconds of abduction, starting at eight. You're here, you're right where you're meant to be. Here we go, get them done. It's only 30 seconds of a movement <laughs> that we do over and over and over again. You're already halfway through this one. And you're more than halfway through with this set. Five, four, three, two, and one. This is truly effective. It's truly worth your time. You're down to four reps. One, two, three, four. All the way down. You've got 10 seconds. I stopped the timer right away that time. Grab a drink if you need it. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Do it. I know this is hard. <laughs> I know your glutes right here are just on fire. They feel like they're cramping, but they're not. You're getting stronger. This is what it feels like to be an athlete, to push yourself when no one else is watching. You're there, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hit and pause. You're down to three reps. One, two, three. All the way down, roll it off. You got eight seconds, so we get 30 more seconds of abductions. Here we go. You are almost at the bottom of this pyramid. We have two reps and then 30 seconds of abductions. And then I'm going to start the timer for a 30 second hold, hip thrust hold, weighted. And when we come down on that, we'll go right into our last 30 seconds of abductions. And we're out of this pyramid like the athletic bosses that you are. Three, two, one. Getting pause, getting two thrusts. One, two. Okay, start again. We've got eight seconds. 30 more seconds of abductions. You only have one more minute of those left. Yes, you can. Here we go. You're not breathing heavy, but your muscles are on fire. So make sure you take in some deep oxygenated breaths.
You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Now you have 10 seconds to get that weight over your hips. We are doing a 30 second hold. Don't doubt yourself. Press through, posterior pelvic tilt. Get it. Squeeze those glutes. Press out against that band. Tuck your chin. You're already halfway through. You can do this. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Oh, gosh. And you've got 30 seconds of abduction starting right now. Go. Breathe it out. Fifteen seconds to go. Less than ten. You made it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, you should feel so proud of yourself. That was, oh, try to stand up. That was really, really hard. That was a hard pyramid and you made it through. Taking that sponge off my bar, we're going to be going right into a five by five set. We're doing heavy sumo deadlifts, kettlebell deadlifts, and switch lunges. The switch lunges will count as two equals one. So, I'm gonna get my kettlebell out, put it over here, setting yourself up for success. Let's do it. Sticking with 135, try to go as heavy as you can. It's only five reps, okay? Make sure your form is tight. That weight comes right up your legs. Your arms are going straight out from your shoulders. Toes and knees point out. Your legs are a little bit further apart. If you have a bigger bar, they can go further than this. Let's go. Five reps. One. Two. Three, four, five. Set it down. Five deadlifts with the kettlebell. Just sort of like a drop set. One, two, three, four, five. Set it down. Five switch lunges, counting on one leg only. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Back to your heavy bar. Five more deadlifts. If you lose your breath, you will find it later. I promise you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it down. Five more kettlebells. One, two, three. Four, five, five switch lunges. One, two, three, four, five. There's something awesome that happens when you pick up a really heavy weight. You don't think about anything else other than trying to be successful about picking up that heavy weight. Let's go, five more reps, round three. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Set it down. Kettlebells. One, two, three, 
three, four, five. Switch lunges. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome job. Just like that, we're on to round four. Get it done. One, two, three, four, five. Kettlebell, five more. One, two, three, four, five. If you are really breathing heavy like I am, good. One, two, three, four, five. Here we are, final round. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it down. Kettlebell deadlifts. One, two, three, four, and five. Set it down, put it right out of my way. You got switch lunges, and you're done with the five by five. This workout is flying. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we've got a Tabata pair. We're doing lateral step ups and reverse lunges. Right side and left side. So, I'm going to back load with my sandbag and leave it on my shoulders for the whole four minutes. You need to decide how you're going to do it. Do what works for you with the equipment that you have. As always, this is your workout. I'm just here making suggestions for you. You get to choose how to challenge yourself today. You showed up for yourself and nobody else. Hitting start, you've got a 10 second countdown. So loading it up. Lateral step up. Coming down, keeping that leg to a reverse lunge. If you're feeling a little shaky from those heavy deadlifts, so am I. You're not the only one. Three, two, one. I'm gonna stay on this leg for four rounds and then I'll get the other side. How's that sound, you guys? And I'm actually gonna add this to be a curtsy lunge because it fits my equipment better. I was worrying that my back leg was going to hit the wall or hit my bench. So that's how I'm gonna find today. What did you do? Three, two, and one. Nice work. Two more rounds here. Are you smiling? Are you still breathing heavy? Are you dripping sweat? show up for you because you've trained them too. 
That's all you. Five. Two. One.
Switch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven down. Get those Bulgarians. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. I know sometimes these supersets and rep sets, they seem long and drawn out. Get your balance. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. But guess what? Repeating things makes you stronger. Repeating hard moves with heavy weights makes you a stronger person mentally and physically. Let's go. Eight reps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get those Bulgarians. This is round three. One, two, three, four, five. Be strong in your thoughts. One, Two, three, four, five. If you're at your final round, I'm grabbing a quick drink. We'll hit round four. And then we are closing in on the end of this fast and effective workout. Eight reps. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Final round of Bulgarians. How are you? You are with me. You are doing great. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Set it down. Have a big smile on your face. You accomplished that. You killed it. All right, we have another Tabata pair. And then all we have left after that is our four party. You guys, you have arrived, you have made it, you've been here to put in the hard work. So let's finish it off with something that's gonna make you proud. So bottom pair we're doing is a deadlift and a hang clean, and then body weight curtsy lunge hops. So I'm gonna go with my sandbag just because my bar is still loaded up, and we've been using that today, so I'm gonna keep with it. Hitting start right now, you have a 10 second countdown. So full deadlift, and then hang clean. So I get the top, deadlift down and up, hang clean, get underneath. 
meet that weight. Whew, this is a different kind of challenge with bag. Deadlift. Clean it. It's been a while. It's been a minute since I've done anything to the bag. Nice job. Curtsy lunge hops. So I'm going to do a curtsy lunge, a little squat jump in the center, and a curtsy lunge hop on the other side. So step into it, hop it, come to center, squat jump, curtsy lunge, hop it. Center. Three, two, one. Nice job. Pick up that weight. Get ready. 20 second intervals. You got this. After this beep, we're going into pike 
and knees hugs. Feet are on the ball, hands are on the ground. So, go ahead, get on. Balls underneath your feet. Pike it up. Knee tuck it. Pike it up. At the beep. You're going into holding the ball with your feet. Back is on a mat. Head and shoulders are up off the ground. And you're going to be twisting that ball. Go easy on yourself. If your transitions are not as smooth as mine, <laughs> which my transitions are not very smooth at all right now, but we get to do this four more times. So don't worry about it. <sighs> Twist it. At the beep, we are doing, the kids, yeah, oh, ball bridges and hamstring curls. So you're gonna curl the ball in, get a bridge, curl it out. So put the ball down, feet are up on top, Head, neck, and hands are on the ground. Press up, curl it in, get your bridge. Back in, and out. Nice job. At the beat, we are up to the top again with our ball crunches. So get your back on the ball. Get it going. Get a nice extended back bend on the ball. It feels really, really nice. At the beep, we're doing the pike up and knee tucks. Put those feet on the ball, hands on the ground. Pike it up. Knee tuck it. Try to get those shoulders directly above those wrists, especially when you're doing that pike up. Nice job. On your back, balls between your feet. Hollow hold, ball twist. Head, neck, and shoulders are up off the mat. You can put your arms out here if it helps you. I like it behind my head. Ball bridges and hamstring curls are next. You get to rest your head on the floor. Put it down, feet are up, head and hands are down. Press up, pull in, bridge. Remember, this is your final set in this workout. Don't give up on yourself, press through it. At the beep, you're back to ball crunches for round number three. Nice smooth transition. Get right on it and enjoy that stretch you get from bending over the ball. You did a lot of heavy, heavy work today. Pikes and knee tucks are at the beep. I want you leaving this workout feeling absolutely empowered and strong and impressed with yourself so that when you go look in the mirror you say yeah I just did that I lifted all that heavy weight I got uncomfortable I got sweaty I got breathless I finished all of my challenges to the best of my ability today and now I'm going to do that and carry it over to the rest of my tasks in my day on your back ball twist because that's really what it's about, right? We do this to be better people. Not everyone gets it. Not everyone gets to do this. You are one of the lucky few. 
I get to do this. Bridges and curls, press it up, pull it in. Nice job. At the beat, you're into crunches for your final round through these moves. Last two minutes of this workout. Get your back on that ball. I know you guys might not believe me, but I think I've converted myself to a, a core lover. I think I like to train abs now. <laughs> Pikes and knee tucks are at the beep in five seconds. Let's go. Especially if you're doing some massive heavy weight work as an active recovery to throw in some core. It just works really well. That's my personal opinion. Ball twists. Head and shoulders up off the mat. Thank <laughs> you.